A health research group says internal corruption is a major challenge to the healthcare development in Nigeria. A health policy research group in Abuja revealed this and that said that the health sector spends less than its allocated fund. It says the government needs to find solutions on the distribution of finances to health agencies. Corruption is very prevalent in the Nigerian health sector. And, uh, you know, corruption is not just when you steal money. Uh, once you mistrust public trust for a private gain, is corruption. So issues of absenteeism and late coming to work is corruption. Um, well, I may even stretch it further. Say so even issue of going on strike and coming back and getting paid is also corruption. So um, plus the ones we know about bribery and all that. And so if we improve on how we use this money, whether it's from uh, go uh, uh, government budget or from health insurance, in a strategic way, we can achieve a lot. So one of the challenges in Nigeria is health spending. So, for example, Nigeria spends far less than the 5% of GDP on health that is needed to develop to deliver a basic package of services. It spends far less than the 15% of government expenditure on health that was that was um, declared in the Abuja Declaration here. So, so there's, that raises some interesting questions about what do we know about about spending and what do we know about spending on health. So one of the things that we did uh, early on in the consortium life was to study what are the, some of the constraints to, to increasing government health expenditure. Nigeria has started a process of reducing out-of-pocket expenditures for health. But are we, where are we really? Are we, are we making uh, great progress? Absolutely uh, not. The issue, the big issue, is that the National Health Act has provided for at least 1% of consolidated revenue fund to be allocated for basic health care provision. And this was uh, passed as far as uh, 2000, October 2014. But as we are speaking here, it has not been appropriated.